welcome back to my channel. You are in Kristen's Kitchen, cooking with Kristen. So, did someone say chaffles? Chaffle? Chaffle, anyone? What the hell is a chaffle? Yeah, I'm about to show you in this video. So stay tuned so you can know what a chaffle is. All right, guys, so yay, I'm super excited in this video. We are going to learn all about chaffles, what a chaffle is and how to make a chaffle. So can anybody guess what a chaffle might be? Hmm, nobody? All right, it is a cheese waffle. And how do you think you make it? Well, you're gonna need one egg, a tablespoon of almond flour, and some, ooh, cheese. Anybody say cheese, please? So basically, I am doing an onion bagel chaffle. So if you are living the low carb life, this is for you because essentially you don't really eat bread, right? So you wanna just get in and get out and have a nice piece of bread or a nice sandwich, but you can't have all the carbs. This is a great cheat. Um, so if you're low carb or keto or whatever. So that's a little bit about a chaffle, it's a cheese waffle. Um, so your first ingredient is gonna be the egg. So I'm gonna put the egg in the bowl and then you take your whisk or your fork or whichever you like and you're gonna whisk it. Whisk, whisk, whisk. Get it all gathered together. You want it to not have any um, like uh, clear. So like the uh, whites, you want that to be all mixed in. And the texture of the chocolate when it's done is kind of, um, it's kind of pillowy. It's, it's, it can get, if you get it too wet, it can get very um, moist. So you don't want to put a lot of sauce or anything like that on it, but it's a perfect, it is the perfect bread. So I have it all beat up nice and um, bubbly, but no white. And now I'm gonna mix in my almond flour. One tablespoon of almond flour. Obviously, I already had done it. And then I go ahead, and the cheese, I got regular grated cheese, but then you, um, three fourths cup of cheese, but then you want to chop it up a little bit more so that it adheres and gets more finer into the, um, into the mixture because you don't want it to uh, basically, what am I trying to say? You don't want this long cheese strings to get in the way, bottom line. So you're gonna mix all that together. And I've already, oh, you know what I almost forgot? I'm sure you're wondering how in the world I'm about to make this, right? So the most important uh, tool in this process is a chaffle maker or a mini waffle maker. So I have turned it on, but this is what it looks like. And it's Dash, D-A-S-H is the brand. You can get it on uh, Amazon or uh, at Kohl's or whatever, usually like 10 bucks or so. So this is perfect for um, the chaffle maker because it's only four inches in diameter, so it's going to be the perfect size bun. And basically you can see the griddle like that, like just like a waffle maker. And then you're gonna spray it with a little bit of Pam. If it comes out, yeah, there we go. Pam, so it's non-stick. And I'm making an everything bagel, so I'm using everything seasoning. Now mind you, I did get this recipe offline, and I haven't done it before. A little sea salt. So we're gonna see together how this whole thing comes out. A little garlic. Okay. So I'm gonna mix that up again. And it just looks like this. You can see it. So it's kind of, um, looks kind of like oatmeal, I guess. So my question to myself is like, hmm, how am I gonna get this in here? <laughs> but I'll go ahead and grab a spoon. How are you guys doing today? I hope everyone is well. So, I'm going to gather about a tablespoon and lay it in this maker. You, you heard the sizzle, so it's already hot. It's nice and ready to go. And you want to get it all covered like so. Okay? 
and then we're gonna put the timer on for four, well, five minutes. So we will be back. All right, the timer has gone off, guys. Stop that, stop that. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Ooh, got a little knife. Gonna pop that out. Look what I got. Don't judge me. It doesn't look, it does look burnt, but it's not burnt. <laughs> Obviously the cheese does that. So then we're gonna set that out on the side and let that cool. The truffle maker is ready to go. It's still hot. We're gonna get the other side in there so we can have two bagels. No, no. Yeah, that sounds amazing. Are you guys gonna try this at home? I think even if you do eat bread and you don't live a low carb life, this is gonna be great regardless, okay? A novel chapel. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and unplug it so I don't burn myself by accident. So I remember I said we were making a chaffle bagel. So basically the chaffle does not have a hole in it. So what I did was make the hole for the bagel. Can you see that? All right. So not perfect, but it's okay. Um, prog progress over perfection. I did it, right? That's all that matters. So I'm gonna cut a little hole. This one's a little still warm, but that's okay. And we're gonna taste it too, just to see how it came out. I told you guys I hadn't made this before, so this particular kind. So I'm super excited about this. Let's see, ooh, look at that. Can you see that smoke coming off of there? I can. It's all gooey and cheesy. Mm. Yum, let's taste. Guys, this is good, really good. Like, almost like pizza good. I like it a lot. Um, I had some cream cheese, because of course, bagels can go with cream cheese, or you can do whatever you want with your bagel. So let's try it with a little bit of cream cheese. So essentially, that's how you make a chaffle. It's really easy. You need a few ingredients. The, the most important thing you need is a small waffle iron. But other than that, eggs, almond flour, coconut flour is fine, um, cheese. Then I hope this video was helpful for you uh, to live a low carb life and to learn about chaffles, cheese waffles, which are really amazing. I made BLTs with them. You can make Wonder Bread. Remember white bread? Wonder Bread? You can make it with a chaffle now. So you can have like guilt-free eating. All right, so let's go ahead and try a bite. With the jalapeno cream cheese. Um, oh my goodness. Y'all, you understand. This is good. Like I'm shocked. So please check it out, try it out. Leave a comment below that I'm gonna try it or I've tried it. How did you like it? Maybe you don't like it and it's okay. My right. recipes. But again, I hope you try it out. This thing is amazing. I'm gonna go enjoy my food and my breakfast. <laughs> Until we meet again, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.